Hey everybody, I'm back again. It is being said that Diddy has been placed on suicide watch already. I said this yesterday in my video. It seems to me like they're setting this guy up to make it, to, to take him out and make it look like a suicide, y'all. I'm feeling it. He's only been there three days. They already put him on suicide watch. He's probably going through withdrawal. Listen, he has to pay for all the wicked shit that he did. Think about it, y'all. If he really took Kim Porter out or had anything to do with her leaving this earth, she had three children. You, If he did that, you did that so you could be free, so you could be freaking off. You didn't even really care about your kids. The twins, the two twin girls are with Lala. Lala was close with Kim Porter, but how long can Lala take care of those children? This is really sad, y'all. This He wasn't thinking about anybody but himself. Think about that. You took out your kid's mother so you could freak off and, and have sex for three and four days and, and, and do drugs? Now your children is out there now, probably panicking. They used to all this luxury and all this stuff. And now they have to stay with someone else and their primary caregiver is gone, which may be his fault. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And now their father's in jail. You don't think these girls and, and those kids, are, are his sons, are going to hear about what happened to Kim Porter? It's going to come out, y'all. They're releasing her diary. It's going to come out. And I wouldn't be surprised if spiritually, Kim Porter's not kicking. These All these people that he hurt, and may have been responsible for unaliving. Some say Chris Lighty, Wolf, Riz, Andre Harrell, Heavy D, listen, Pac, Big, come on y'all. And who knows who's, who else in the midst of all of this? Who knows y'all? So they're saying he's on suicide watch. He's locked up in Brooklyn in a place they call the gates of hell. Diddy's been living in the lap of luxury to a capacity that we don't understand. For the past 30 years, y'all. <clears throat> this is serious and we might be looking at the total demise of this young man. Because of the disgusting choices he made and the selfishness he participated in. And hurting all these people and ruining lives. Even his own children, their mother. And the way these details are spilling out about him and showing his personality. I, I can't say that he wouldn't do it. I can't say he did because I wasn't there. But I guarantee, I just feel like I can guarantee the proof is going to come out. Look at Albie Shaw. Albie Shaw is talking now. He's talking now because he's not in danger. They said this man was um, blackmailing all these people up there. <coughs> and he had all of that power to do whatever the hell he wanted to do. And they gave him the rope and let him hang himself. What I need y'all to do is pray for those children. Because they didn't have nothing to do with these decisions. And he trained those boys in a very bad way. Because it's looking like they was... This girl named um, Love Jones said that she was hanging out with them and she don't even remember what happened for part of the time. So she may have been allegedly drugged as well because he taught them these things. He didn't want anybody around him to look at him and critique him and tell him that he was doing anything wrong and call him out on his shit. Anybody who was calling him out on his shit is no longer around, y'all. But check this out. So Diddy has been placed on suicide watch. Somebody must have informed him that more people were coming out against him. On top of uh, Christian Combs publicist making that awkward post about not ever seeing Diddy do a thing wrong, but knowing more heavy hitters in the industry that have. And then turning around saying, oh shit, that wasn't supposed to go out of a private group message. Y'all better stop playing. Y'all better keep an eye on Diddy. People want to see him go to trial, okay?
Y'all better stop playing. Y'all better keep an eye on Diddy. People want to see him go to trial, okay? We want to see him go to trial. After that, it's whatever. Whatever happens, what happens? Let's keep on him. Because we all know he will not survive in jail. That man has been used to the lap of luxury since his early 20s. You think he can survive in a 3x5 cell? With a small ass window. No kind of media. No kind of way to get exactly what he wants when he wants. Everyone predicted that Diddy would unalive himself before the trial. Let's pray he doesn't so the people that he did harm can get justice and for the sake of his children. You want to see people suffer for their wrongdoings, but when young children are involved, young innocent children, and they wind up without either parent, nobody wins. Prayers up for those children, all of them. Diddy's going to have to handle the consequences of the decisions he made. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Wow.